You've probably browsed online for a certain item and lo and behold, it shows up as a Facebook ad. Facebook has said time and time again that they don't listen to you on your microphone, but if they're not listening, here's how that ad could follow you. One, you could fit the demographic of who the advertiser wants to reach. Say they want to make sure that ad reaches 18 to 34 year olds in the New York area. If you happen to list that information on your Facebook, you may see that ad. Facebook is also experimenting with allowing people to target based on households. So if you fit the demographic, someone in your household may also be able to see that same ad. Two, you may have shown interest in that product category on and off Facebook. You may have liked certain pages or posted links on your profile, or you may be surfing online and looking at similar items. Some companies place a tiny dot on their webpage known as a Facebook pixel. That pings Facebook when you surf the web, as long as you're logged into your Facebook somewhere on that device. Three, companies may be specifically targeting you using your email address. If you use the same email to log into Facebook and to log into other retailer websites, they can use it to find you on Facebook and serve you an ad. Four, a family member may have used that device to look at that same product. Facebook pixels can tell when you visit a website, but they can't tell who's actually looking at that website. So if you're using a family member's computer and look at a product, but that family member is logged into Facebook, Facebook may recognize that it's that family member that's interested in that item, not you. Five, a company may work with a third-party data provider to find the right customer. Let's say a business wants to reach people who spend a lot on groceries. A third-party data provider can look through grocery loyalty store programs to find out who's spending the most on groceries. Then, they'll give Facebook an anonymized list which will show ads to anyone who spent a lot on groceries in the last 30 days. Or it can be a complete coincidence. We see hundreds of ads online every day, and we don't pay attention to all of them. But if a friend or family member is talking about a product and that item shows up as an ad on our Facebook feed, we're bound to pay attention. Hey there, thanks for checking out CNBC on YouTube. Be sure to subscribe to stay up to date on all of the day's biggest stories. You can also click on any of the videos around me to watch the latest from CNBC. Thanks for watching.